Back in Magnus Arena, 72-67 final as New Mexico State knocks off Denver. Tyler Mine joined by Pioneers head coach Roddy Billups. And coach, this is a, a weird one tonight. You get two guys over 20 points for the first time since March of 2018. You get seven other scorers, but none of those guys have more than four. Six of them have two points. It's kind of a, a strange night tonight. Overall, what would you take away from it? I, I don't personally think that was weird. Um, you know, we, we, we got shots. We just didn't make them. Uh, we, we didn't dictate on, on, on the defensive end, and we didn't let our, our defense generate some easy baskets. We we were often calling sets, uh, but Jace, Jace shoots the ball great, uh, and the day's really good when he gets downhill with his right hand. So that that, that part doesn't – I don't think that's very weird at all, but um, we, we got to get more production from everybody else. You get a couple of moments late uh, that don't go your way. It looks at 65-59, like Roscoe Eastman goes up, makes a basket, gets the foul call, has a chance to go to the line, make it a three-point play. They instead turn that into an offensive foul that goes the other way. What did you see from the bench on that play? I thought it was a, it, it was an easy call. Block, we shoot a free throw. They even went to the monitor, and I, I asked the, the official if he saw the push in the back that generated the contact. He said he didn't even look for it. He didn't even – uh, that wasn't that, that wasn't on my mind to look. I, I saw if, if he was inside the circle or not. So that, that, that's just one of those calls that, hey, if it goes the other way, our game is different. Coach, the, the thing that I think we continue talking about with this team, and especially as a young team that grows, they don't go away. This is an 18-point deficit at one point in the first half. You get it back down to three. This is a team that's not going to quit. They're going to keep fighting as games go along. Uh, to get started quicker has been such a point of emphasis for you guys. And, again, it was a first-half deficit that was that way, kind of dug that hole. But for them to continually show that they can fight back, what is the key to getting that piece of, all right, let's start a little better? That's coaching. I, I, I have to be better. i got to start the game with different guys because every time uh, in our, our, our recent future – or, excuse me, our recent past – we're, we start 11-0, 16-0, 9-0, and we're always playing from behind. It's easy to come back. It's hard to come back and win. Coach, Air Force coming up on Saturday. We'll see you then. Thanks. Pioneers fall in this one. 72-67 to is the final. Denver with the loss drops to 4-7 and seven on the season. New Mexico State improves to 6-5. and five. But coming off of a 31 season and an NCAA tournament appearance, uh, New Mexico State did not have it easy tonight, even though they get out of here with a win. Tough one for the Pioneers to swallow, but still another step to build on moving forward. For this, we will wrap things up. But we are just a few days away from the uh, second of this five home game and six game stretch for the Pioneers as Denver will square off with the Air Force Falcons coming up on Saturday. That one, a 1 o'clock tip-off with the 1230 Pioneer pregame, and we will talk to you then. For John Simmer back in the studio, my name is Tyler Mon. Thanks for joining us this evening. 72-67, Denver Falls to New Mexico State. We'll talk to you on Saturday for Air Force.